Hi everyone, it's Coot here. I'm really excited to just connect with you today and uh, record this special message and video. Today I'm excited because I'm going to be introducing you to a very dear friend of mine, a legend in his own right, in his own field, uh, a major entertainer, celebrity. Uh, you might be thinking, is it, is it Oprah, is it Madonna, or is, it, uh, is it Prince, is it Cher? Who, who can this celebrity be? Well, I'm going to be introducing you to him. We're going to be hanging out with, uh, with this very special person. Uh, you may have heard of him. He's been in major motion pictures in TV commercials, I'm told, and uh, TV shows. I'm really glad today to introduce you to a dear friend of mine. His name is called Mr. Sweet. And, uh, well, first, meet Mr. Sweets. Mr. Sweets? This is Mr. Sweets, everyone. He's a, he's a little preoccupied. But honestly, there's a reason we're gonna, we're, we're, I'm introducing you to Mr. Sweets. So, Mr. Sweets, how are you? So, I've decided, this is, well, obviously, he's a celebrity, he's a dog. But I've decided that my goal today, in the next three minutes, with you, with me, together, is to make Mr. Sweets go meow. I've decided to make Mr. Sweets go meow. Now, let's see if it works. Mr. Sweets, would you please? It's so cute. Mr. Sweets, would you please go meow? Mr. Sweets, I mean, if you love me, if you, if you love me, would you please go meow? Why are you just sitting there? Go, can, you, can you go meow? Like, meow. Mr. Sweets, uh, uh, I mean, I've, I've done so much for you, you know what I mean? Just, just, just one, just this one time, just please go me. I'm trying. Uh, Mr. Sweets, would you, Mr. Sweets, would, what do you need me to do in order for you to go me out? Who do you need me to be in order for you to go me out? Would you please go me out? You know, it's really, Mr. Sweets, we have everyone watching you know, in all around the world, and I've told them, we're gonna have you go meow. You, you can't let me down. Just, would you please, just one time, go meow, say meow. Meow. Mr. Sweet. Mr. Hey, Mr. Sweet. Me me meow. Come on, me meow. I don't know about this, folks. <laughs> Mr. Sweet. Mr. Sweet is in his own world. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. Mr. Sweet. Mr. Sweet is gone. So you might be thinking, what on earth is Coop doing? Coop has now completely lost his mind, his office rocker. Well, here's my thought. The reason I wanted to introduce Mr. Sweets to you is, is to really ask you a question. The question is this, what I was doing, which was trying to get Mr. Sweets to go me out, let me ask you a question. Would Mr. Sweets ever go me out? The answer is, it's unlikely. Why would Mr. Sweets not go me out? For the obvious answer, you don't have to be a brain surgeon, but the obvious answer is Mr. Sweets is a dog. And Mr. Sweets goes woof, woof, Mr. Sweets barks. No matter how much I pray, no matter how much I meditate, no, how much, no matter how much I do yoga, no matter how much I chant, do my mantras, no matter how much kindness I do, no matter how much I read the holy text, no matter how much I put a guilt trip, manipulate, cajole, no matter what I do, Mr. Sweets is never going to go meow. Because the nature of Mr. Sweets is Mr. Sweets is a dog and dog go woof. Okay? That's the reality. Whenever you fight reality, you lose. Whenever you fight reality, you suffer. The question I want to pose to you is, who in your life are you trying to get to go meow? Who in your life are you resisting? Who in your life are you fighting? Who in your life are you constantly banging your head up against, trying to change them to be different than they already are, even though they've been the same way for 40 years that you've known them, or even though they've been the same way since you were born. It's almost as though we're fa you're faced with a brick wall and every day you end up running up against the brick wall and banging your head over and over and over and over again, resisting reality. What, who, and where in your life are you resisting reality? 
are you resisting what is? When you resist reality, when you resist who or what someone is, it only causes you suffering. The real key to freedom, I'd say a real key to freedom, is acceptance. When you're able to accept who someone is, when you're able to accept that the person in your life may never be what you want and you don't actually have control of changing anyone in your life, when you're able to accept what is, to accept that, in my case, Mr. Sweets is going to go woof and that's it, he's never going to go me out no matter how creatively I try and get him to change. When you're able to go into acceptance and move yourself into a space of acceptance, that is the key to your freedom. Then you're no longer dependent on anything outside of yourself, being any particular way, having to rearrange itself any particular way. You're no longer dependent on anyone in your life having to be any other way in order for you to be free. Acceptance doesn't mean you just give up. Acceptance doesn't mean you continue allowing yourself to be abused by someone that may be mistreating you. Acceptance means you just face the reality as it is because then you can see reality as it is. In order to change reality, you have to see reality and accept reality as it is in order to create a new reality. So the first key is move yourself into acceptance of who someone is or what the situation is. One thing I want to make clear is just because you accept somebody doesn't mean you'll be around them. It just means you stop fighting them so you, it actually frees you up to shift your relationship with that person within yourself and in the real world. So when you actually accept somebody, you might actually never see them. You might actually never be around them. I'm often fond of saying, you know, I have a perfect relationship with everybody. It's just, and I love everybody. It's just that some people I will choose to not be around and they don't have to be different. I just choose to not change them because they don't want to be changed or they don't want to shift. But I won't resist them. So when you really come into acceptance of your mother, of your father, of your ex, of your spouse, it might actually mean you break up with them. It might actually mean you never, you choose to not see them. It might actually mean you never see them. What it will mean when you move into acceptance are changes. And what it will mean is much more peace because you're no longer fighting who and what they are. Who in your life are you trying to make go meow? I often say, if you want a cat, buy a cat. If you want a dog, buy a dog. The more you're able to accept reality, the more you set yourself free. And number two, make a decision and feel what you can actually do about the situation. So often we get frustrated, so often we remain miserable or upset or unhappy with reality while we're still doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. What are you doing in your life over and over and over and over and over again. You know the age old quote by Einstein never goes out of fashion. He said something like, to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, literally is insanity. True sanity is accepting reality and actually doing something different. So what would you need to do differently? So step three is take action. Take different actions than you've been taking so that you can actually generate and create a different experience, a different result, uh, a different relationship. Pain in life is inevitable. Whether you're black, green, orange, white, enlightened, unenlightened, pain is a part of the physical process. Suffering is optional. Suffering comes from the stories you might make up in your mind about reality. Suffering comes from resisting reality. So choose to set yourself free. Are you choosing suffering or are you choosing freedom? You are the one that holds the key to freedom. They put Mandela in prison 
for 27, 28 years. But he chose to accept the reality and created a whole different experience within himself and chose to prepare himself for his true destiny of leading a nation. He did not allow his external circumstances to determine his internal experience. So they may have put Mandela in prison, but he was not in prison. And many of us are living freely in the world, but we're in prison within our own selves. When you move yourself into true acceptance of reality, then you're free. Then it frees you to transcend the situation and be free regardless of what's going on. Choose freedom, choose acceptance, choose now. Signing out, me, Mr. Sweets, hanging out with you today, sending you love wherever you are in the world. I finally, finally decided to come to my senses and accept that Mr. Sweets is gonna go woof and knock me out. Love now.